We can see the vehicles now. We're bringing them live. The family, the convoy is leaving uh, Kwapindangene. And at the top of the hill on the other side, at the gate, uh, we will find Mangoba Mkunu, who will pick it up as they leave. There is a group of uh, regiments there, Amabuto, who will do their part. And the, uh, as, and the IFP Youth Brigade is also, is also there. I'm with Kai and Wandwe. Yeah, well, who else is there? Uh, it's Amabuto are up there and the community as, uh, uh, as well. I think they are going to train the soldiers up there, but uh, Amabuto and the IFP Youth Brigade are waiting there outside the family. So now they are not allowed to be stopped and talk with, to, to anyone because now they did practice a, a certain rituals. Now nobody can talk to them. They have left, as you can see. And uh, Mangobam Kunu, over to you, that side at the main gate there. The vehicles are making their way to you. They are not allowed to stop as we had. Mangoba. Well, certainly, Pratyan, we are here outside uh, the main gate uh, where the convoy is expected uh, to make its way through. And, of course, there are quite a number of community members uh, that are here outside of the gate, uh, some arriving very early uh, this morning, just to come and bid farewell to Mtu Anawaga Pindangene to be able uh, to see uh, his remains arriving back here at home. And, of course, we see uh, that convoy making its way here to the motory uh, where they are going to be going uh, to fetch uh, Umduana's remains. And, of course, there have been quite a number of activities here outside of the homestead uh, with uh, lots of regiments arriving here outside Amabuto from uh, the different areas, uh, from uh, different villages and different uh, clans arriving here uh, this morning, uh, of course, because Umduana Pinangene was not only the chief of the Butelezi family, but he was also, uh, or the clan, rather, but he was also the pro traditional Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation. And so uh, we're expecting to see uh, quite a number of uh, Amabuto uh, that will be coming here to uh, pay tribute, really, uh, to his contribution, to his work as the Prime Minister of Amazul. And certainly that's what it's been about. Uh, Amabuto here outside have been singing uh, hymns, uh, different hymns, uh, hymns of battle, also uh, hymns of victory, uh, really paying tribute uh, to the man that Umtuanaga Pindangene was. There is a convoy there uh, as it makes its way now uh, to the mortuary uh, of course being led by law enforcement officials from the Guazul Natal traffic police and uh, this is the convoy that is now going to fetch uh, the mortal remains of Mduanoga Pindangere of course part of the delegation is his son Prince uh, Zuzifa Mutelezi who was earlier on uh, you know part of the delegation that also went uh, to prepare the body of the late uh, IFP leader Magosutu Butele, as we also see there inside that vehicle uh, in your CSCs, Ubabu Buzetjen Of course, he's accompanying this particular uh, convoy uh, just to assure that the customs are well observed as far as this is concerned. And um, of course, we were told that uh, when uh, this particular convoy returns back home, uh, in fact, just before I get there, when it arrives at uh, the motory, already there are Amabuto that are stationed there, that are waiting there uh, to receive. Uh, uh, the family as they go to receive uh, the mortal remains of Mdwanoga Pindinga. And then from there, we understand that they will then be making their way back here uh, to Kwa Pindinga, uh, where, of course, more uh, Zulu regiments are going to be waiting here uh, for this convoy to be coming back. And, of course, uh, the family asking for some time, saying that uh, after he has arrived back home, they'll want uh, to ask for some uh, time uh, to really uh, grieve as a family. And it will be quite a somber occasion as they say, when they uh, finally have Mtuana Wawapinda Gene back home, uh, there are certain uh, cultural and traditional rites that have to be observed. And this is what the family will then be doing uh, as soon as Mtuana Wawapinda uh, arrives at the homestead. But also we understand that uh, there will be a, a religious ceremony that will take place. There will be a service that is going to be taking place around about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, from there, the family is saying that they'll then want to be afforded at that time to be able to mourn as a family. Of course, as we prepare for the special official funeral that is going to take place here. So that convoy has now gone but then, and it's now making its way uh, to Ulundi where it's going to fetch the mortal remains of Nkosumango Sutop Of course, uh, we also see uh, some vehicles uh, here of uh, some dignitaries that have been arriving here at the homestead uh, this morning. There have been quite a number of uh, visitors as well. Uh, the likes of 
uh, the good leader Patricia Delil, who was here earlier on. We also seeing uh, vehicles uh, from the presidency that uh, were also here. I'm not sure uh, who uh, was here or who they had brought here at this particular point. But uh, certainly uh, that motorcade now making its way uh, to the mortuary in Ulundi uh, to fetch the mortal remains of Usheng. And of course, Amabuto are expected to gather here outside to welcome him as he makes his way with Amahubo. Earlier on, we heard Amahubo Agaptelezi uh, being sung here outside the homestead uh, in tribute to the late uh, chief of this particular clan. But uh, certainly we're watching developments. And uh, right now, Pratan, I'm going to hand it back to you as that motorcade is now left and gone to the mortuary. All right, well, of course, uh, as I uh, take over from this point and we try to establish uh, Bradan and JJ Daba and his connection, we have seen that motorcade uh, involving, of course, some family members, uh, some of the children and siblings, such as Prince, Zeus, uh, Prince Butelezi's son, uh, of course, uh, going to fetch the mortal remains of his father, uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezu, at Ikebole to home uh, funeral parlor. This is where we know that uh, uh, we have uh, a community that is also standing by just outside uh, in almost like a guard of honor waiting, of course, uh, to uh, see uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezu's remains come out, of course, being accepted by the family. Uh, the Amabutu that has been practicing uh, songs and also will be practicing some rituals uh, to, of course, accept uh, the those remains alongside the family as they head over back uh, to the family. So it seems that according to also NAP joints, and as far as security is concerned, they have assured my colleague Bradan and JJ Dabani that all is on course for today to ensure uh, that uh, as mourners continue to pour in out in Ulundi, as well as expected in the uh, stadium where the uh, service will take place, uh, that everyone is safe, everyone is secure, uh, so that there is no stampede, there is absolutely uh, and no concern when it comes to everyone's safety, uh, but also saying there will be access seating and uh, marquees that will cater to the expected number of overflow for those mourners coming through. But what you're looking at right now on your screen is the Amabuto. Uh, that's where they are uh, uh, just um, marching ahead to receive the mortal remains of Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. My colleague Ian C. Senior Reporter Pamantla Koke, also there hearing what is being sung, uh, seeing what is being chanted, and Pamantla, if I can just come to you, colleague, I mean, surely you can also feel the, uh, and experience the presence of Amabuto as they fetch their leader and uh, fallen leader. Um Jogombana Gaseko Satwala Ganzi, Mundunangula Gaseko Satwala Ganzima. That is the song that is being sung by Amabuto. It's simply or loosely translated into saying the, uh, the king, King Zuelitini, is no more. The traditional prime minister is now no more. We are devastated as the Sulu nation. That's the message behind the song. I see Lizel. Hello, Lizel. Please come and join us. We are live on ENCA. Park and join us, please. Lizelle van der Meve, who used to be one of the aides, she used to work very closely with Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. Ordinarily, I would have jumped out of this vehicle to go to her to show respect, but unfortunately, we have to hold this position because once that convoy moves, no one will be able to get in and out. The space where we are, we've been allocated that space by the Butelezi family. We've been approved and sanctioned by Prince Zuzi Fandutugoyesizwe Butelezi to travel with the convoy. The family has given us blessings to take this life. So that's the main reason I'm asking Lizelle to park and come back to us. That is the context because the police, the security family members have said to us, do not lose your spot. If you lose your spot, you will not be, gay. You will not be able to get into the convoy. You will not be able to catch up as we see the Treasurer General of the IFP now and sing there in conversation with uh, uh, law enforcement officers. The president of Inkata Freedom Party, Velenko Sinichabisa, is also here. Bongam Kize will show you his motorcade. He is inside the motorcade that is heavily guarded. Remember, he's the president of Inkata Freedom Party, as well as the official, or the leader of the official opposition in the Guazulu Natal Provincial Legislature. So, therefore, he is here in his capacity as the president of Inkata
Democrat Freedom Party. He was endorsed by the departed founder of the IFP, that is Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. The provincial chairperson of Inkata Freedom Party is also here. I'm talking about Mr. Tamintuli, who is the provincial chairperson of the IFP in Kwa Zulu Natal, but also the mayor of King Kechwayo District Municipality. Bongam Kize will show you just ahead there. Amabu to have taken their position. They are flanking a black uh, Hess vehicle that will be uh, basically transporting and carrying the remains of Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. We have seen this before with King's Wellington's demise, where Payamabuto flanked the hearse that was transporting him. And it will be a similar situation here where we will see Amabuto escorting that vehicle. In front of that vehicle will be the members of Butelezi family, led by Prince Zuzi Fandutugo Yesizwe, who is set or who is tipped to become the next in course Yagwa Butelezi because his late father was in course of the Butelezi, of the Butelezi clan. A responsibility that he delegated to some people that he decided to appoint and ensure that they act on his behalf. One of Ibamba because Yagwa Butelezi was one Mr. Mchali and after that followed by Mpiga Ise Butelezi who is the current acting in course of Yagwa Butelezi. Prince Mangosutu Butelezi said well I'm too busy politically to be focusing on my traditional leadership responsibilities. I'll get someone to act for me. You would ask me a question, why did he not appoint his son to act for him? That's simply because Prince Zuzi Fandutugo Yesizu Mtelezi was preoccupied with his business duties and responsibilities. He's a businessman who decided not to venture into politics to follow in his father's footsteps. He decided to keep a low profile and focus on his business empire, but but I guess he will have to find someone to manage that for him now because I know from the wishes of Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi that after his demise, he would love to see his son taking over uh, the position of being in Kosi Telezi. It's not surprising that for the past five years, Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi has been grooming Prince Zuzi Fantutugo Yesizu Tubutelezi to take over from him. He decided to bring him back, bring him closer to him so that he was going to be able to learn from him him and also interact with other people. My brother, can you please go and get Lizelle van der Merve for me? She's right over there. We would like to interview her. She's busy, but please get her for me. So while we wait for Lizelle van der Merve over there to come and join us, I will tell you how Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi decided to groom uh, Prince Tutugoye Sizwe Butelezi to take over from him as uh, Inkosi Yawa Butelezi. And I guess the issue of succession will now be discussed after the funeral service of Prince Mangosu to Butelezi. That issue will be discussed and it will be decided by the Butelezi family and the Butelezi clan simply because there cannot be a vacuum. After the demise of Inkosi, someone has to take over and lead the clan. In this case, the Butelezi clan. But we do not expect that there will be too much dispute if at all there is a dispute. But you may never know. Issues of tradition leadership are always highly contested. Perhaps, I guess, Prince Bangosur Butelezi foresaw that the in order to avoid any contestation or dispute, it's better he makes it clear and known who should take over after him. We do not expect that Prince Zuzi and Utuwesi Zuntelezi will be contested. However, you may never know. I can't uh, bet my last cent on that one simply because Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi has another son. However, it's widely expected within the Butelezi clan that Prince Zuzi and Utuwesi is the one who should take over after his father. We are awaiting the, ar the arrival of uh, the motorcade that will be led by Prince Tutugo. He was here earlier on. I saw him going inside to prepare his father's body before going back to Wapindangene to go and ensure that uh, they deal with the issue of bringing back the convoy and the motorcade to come and pick up the body here and transport it to Wapindangene. 
he left here when he was leaving he told me that at five o'clock or just after five o'clock there will be a prayer service that will be underway at Guapindangene. It will be led by the clergy and religious leaders. Basically once the body has arrived there will be a prayer service and they will be praying. After that then the family will request some privacy so that they will be able to spend time with the remains of the departed former or traditional prime minister to the Zulu nation. After that there will be a night vision. Close family friends, family members and other people who would have been asked by the family to come in. I don't want to use as we see the president of Inkata Freedom Party, Velenko Sinichabisa, going to take his place next to the Hess there. Uh, he will be leading the political party members who will be accompanying the remains of Prince Mangosu Chubutelezi. In fact, he's getting closer to the gate. I think he will be going inside with family members because he is like a son to Prince Mangosu Chubutelezi. Why am I saying that? When I interviewed Prince Mangosu Chubutelezi when he was handing over power to Velenko Sini Klabisa, he said to me, Mr. Klabisa has been with the IFP since his youthful days. He was a member of the IFP Youth Brigade, member of the National Executive Committee of the IFP. So therefore he was fit and proper to take over from him. He embraced him as his son Ninduna Sipomshongo, commanding and marshalling Amabuto in front. Ninduna Sipomshongo worked with the late commander of the regiments, that is Mkeliji Nkeko. He was like the second in command to Mkeliji He's wearing a black T-shirt there facing the other direction. That is Induna Sipomshongo, who is one of the senior is Induna of Amabuto, the regiments. He is making sure that everyone is in order, everyone is in line. This will be well choreographed. There will be a tune. You do not just fall into line. You get prepared. You take your position. When you move, you move with the formation. You move in a certain formation, and you do not just walk, but it's well choreographed, and Izinduna will be in front of the Hess Narend Singh, the Treasurer General of Inkata Freedom Party. Balancing between culture, tradition, and politics, you need leaders of the IFP to be there to support the family, but also you need Amabuto to be there because Prince Mangusu Tubutelezi was the traditional Prime Minister to the Zulu Nation and Monarch. It will be a difficult balancing act for the state as they will be undertaking the official program at the funeral service of Prince Mangusu Tubutelezi that has been designated to be a special official funeral category one with all the military honors. So that funeral service tomorrow will will be, you know, comprising of a number of sections. There will be a family section in the morning where the family will perform whatever they need to perform before leaving for Ulund Regional Stadium that has been renamed Prince Mangusu Tubutelezi. Regional Stadium. We are waiting for Lizel, Lizel van der Merve. Unfortunately, she's gone inside the mortuary. We won't be able to interview her. It's not surprising that she's in there because she, for many years, worked very closely with Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. I know at some point Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi wrote a very long essay, handwritten and sent it to Lizel and said, uh, please try this for me, I need it urgently. And Lizel was very frustrated because the Prince of Guapindangene was in a hurry. So that's how long Lizel has worked with Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. Those who knew the Prince of Guapindangene say he was very sharp, he had a sharp memory, he could remember the dates, times and everything. His political meetings, his traditional prime minister's engagements and everything, he ensured that basically everything was done to the T and he ensured that everything was done accordingly. So this is the current situation outside the Ebole to mortuary here in Olundi as we expect family members of Prince Mangosu to Butelezi to come and uh, fetch the remains of Prince Mangosu to Butelezi. We expect them to come shortly. I've just been able to hijack a 
uh, Mr. Narend Singh. Mr. Narend Singh is the, pre, is the Treasurer General of the IFP. Babu Singh, we are live on ENCA. Very sad moments, final moments. The Prince of Wapindangene will be heading home. Surely as the IFP, you must be thinking this moment is something that you would not have wanted at this point. Ah, it's a very emotional moment for all of us. And you can see the large numbers of people that are here. We've lost our father. We've lost somebody who means so much to the nation, to the family, to the IFP and to all of us. So we are waiting now for the family to come where we will take Ndwana back to his homestead and then thereafter we proceed with the other arrangements. So we've got everything arranged here, Ibuto that will drive in front, we've got the pole bearers and uh, we've got parking for the family. So it's all arranged now for now. He was like a father to you. From a very young age, you worked with him. When you were still in Wazulu Natal Provincial Legislature, he made you Arts and Culture MEC, and you have been one of his right-hand men. Uh, that is correct. And in fact, I knew him for at least 10 years before that. And uh, we worked very, very closely together. And politically, from 1992, I joined the party. And he requested me to join and made sure that the first conference I came to Nulu he gave us five-star treatment. He gave me five-star treatment, accommodation, everything else, and even made me speak to a conference of about 20,000 people. That was in 1992, 1993, so that's 30 years ago. So it's a very sad time. The IFP, like any political party, has got its internal squabbles, divisions, factions. At his last national conference, he spoke about how he would want, okay, pardon me, I'm being distracted because I see there is a motorcade coming this side. While I'm talking to you, the family is coming. I'm asking Bongam Kize to give us those live visuals. Perhaps let me release you because you need to go and welcome the family. But once again, condolences and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. That is Narend Singh, the Treasurer General of Inkata Freedom Party, who has worked for a very long time with Prince Mango Sutubu Telezi. I see some blue lights here flashing the motorcade according to Narend Singh, those are members of the Butelezi family, led by Prince Zuzi Fadutugoye Sizwe. They are coming here to fetch the remains of Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. Ogamatole, traditional prime minister to the Zulu nation and Zulu monarch, Ndwana Wagapindanga, Neiko Sizwe Saka Butelezi, former home affairs minister, and simply put, the father to the Butelezi family. Let me just ask Bonga to give you those visuals Why, while I'm trying to check what is happening on the other side. It's quite a large delegation. It's a large motorcade. It will comprise of family members of Butelezi and other friends and those who would have been asked to join the family because in the African culture, let me narrow it down to the Zulu culture, tradition and practice you do not invite people for the funeral but you basically inform them about the death and they come show their respects so i would avoid to use the term and the word guests because in the african or zulu tradition or culture according to my knowledge where i come from at least people don't get invited to attend a funeral they just attend a funeral service the family members will be escorted by members of the traffic law enforcement. The BMW that is in front used to belong to Prince Mangosu to Butelezi at some point, if my memory serves me well. So that's where Prince Zuzi Fantutugoye Sizwe should be, not unless things have changed. But I think Prince Tutugoye Sizwe Zuzi Fantutugoye should be seated in front or at the back indeed i see his late father's protectors are driving this vehicle prince zuzifa should be sitting in front as basically the head of the butelezi family now following the passing of his father he will be the head this other vehicle here there is in your csc law in your some late kings were in his praise singer he's seated on the passenger seat a clear in that uh, uh, skin and attire there. That is the new Sibuze Chenim Praise singer to the late king of Amazulonation and the current king of the
the Zulu Nation King, Mrs. Zulu Kazueli Tine. It's, it's significant that Nyo Sibuze Chene Mjecha is here simply because uh, Nyo Sibuze Chene Mjecha worked for a very long time with uh, Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. And when they were working for a very long time with Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi, as we see Zuzi Fabutelezi departing there, I like alighting out of the vehicle he will be going inside the mortuary he's being briefed by Narend Singh there who is the NEC member of the IFP and the Treasurer General this is the second time I see Prince Zuzifa coming back to this mortuary earlier on he was here to prepare for the body to be taken back to Wapindangene. So he came earlier with the clothes to prepare the body. We expect that now proceedings will not take a very long time because a lot has been done in terms of preparing the body. They will go inside, there will be a prayer service. Prince Zuzifa as Prince Mangosutu's son will have to perform whatever rituals will have to be performed. But there will not be too many except to report officially to be to the departed Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation that we are here as the Butelezi family, the Zulu Nation and the Butelezi clan to take your body back to Guapindangene as we reported to the elders and to you when we're taking you from Guapindangene to bring you to the mortuary. We are picking up your remains now. We are fetching your remains. We are sending them back home. Later there will be a memorial service that will be held for you and there will be a funeral service that will be held tomorrow. They will brief the departed officially in line with the Butelezi family and clan's traditions and practices and after that the casket will be loaded onto the hearse and they will start making their way back to Wapindangene where they came from and once all of that happens then it's going to be a very long journey in front there, uh, Prince Zuzifa and other members of the Butelezi family and clan are busy being briefed. Amabutu are also waiting to welcome the remains of the departed Prince Mangosu to Butelezi. There is a salutation there in front of the mortuary Sheng, which is a clan name of Prince Mangosu to Butelezi. I see members of the Zulu royal family here, King Zuelitini's daughter, clad in the leopard skin, is also so here next to her, there is Princess uh, Toby. Princess Toby is the sister to the late confidante of King Mesuzuluwazelitini, and that was Prince Nandos, who used to be very close to Amazulu King currently. So senior members of the royal family are here accompanying the family because Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi was the traditional prime minister to the Zulu nation and monarch. just jump in there as of course those proceedings do continue at this time. I want to ask you and perhaps uh, give us uh, a bit of context here when it comes to Zulu traditional customs. We see a lot of male, you know, uh, counterparts, uh, you know, the, the patriarchs leading this uh, procession. We also see a lot of the male family members, Pamandla, leading this procession of, you know, welcoming and accepting the mortal remains of uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, but also, as you've mentioned before, colleague, informing him of what's to happen, what has happened, and what are the next steps. Uh, speaking to, you know, Prince Mangosutu's remains at this point, perhaps give us some context as to why we see more of the males uh, within, you know, uh, the Zulu nation, the Butelezi clan, the Butelezi family leading this procession, this very significant, very sacred procession, as opposed to seeing the females, uh, you know, also so playing quite a leading role here, which, which you don't see at this point. Well, it's difficult to say how things are done because remember within the Zulu tradition, Zulu culture as a whole, there are also differences. Families do things differently. For instance, one of those being that... Uh, 
One of those being that uh, I think, please bear with me, I think I need to ask my colleague Bonga that we unmount this camera so that we will get close by so that when the coffin comes out, we are able to show you that coffin. So please bear with me a second. I'm trying to alight out of this vehicle. So what I will do is uh, there will be shaky visuals because we are jumping out of this vehicle. We want to get close by so that we will show you when the coffin is being ushered inside that mortuary van. Allow Bongam Kize to come with me as I will be answering your question about what is being done when a person All right, so Mandla Koke, as you try and, of course, establish your search for us, uh, colleague, unfortunately, we seem to have lost connection there with you. I will give you some time, of course, uh, as you try and get closer uh, to the Ikebole, to a funeral home pilot. This is where we understand that uh, the coffin is expected to come out, but leading those processions, uh, Prince Zuzifa Butelezi, the son of Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, right in the forefront, uh, clanned and surrounded by the Butelezi, you know, elderly males within the family, leading the procession alongside them, of course, being the Amabutu, but also being spotted there, uh, the president and leader of the IFP, that is uh, Velungo Sinitlavisa, who had already went inside uh, to, of course, await uh, for the family to arrive. They have arrived, but also some of the uh, children of the late uh, king, Zueletin, we've seen there, uh, one of the princesses, of course, also arriving uh, right there at the Ikebole to a funeral homestead. This is where the remains of Prince uh, Mangosutu Butelezi are, and my colleagues, Pamantla Koga, trying to get a little bit closer, uh, just so that perhaps uh, to, to, to give us more context, visual context of what's happening while also giving us a rich history of uh, what exactly we are witnessing. But at this time, we know that as they move from uh, the home parlor, the funeral parlor, they'll be making their way back to the homestead. 